King Greg has been looking for a title shot for a long time. He remains unbeaten, but it had to fight any noteworthy opponent. It will be interesting to see if Garcia gets a title shot before the end of the year. Ryan Garcia, Gervonta Davis is the most exciting fight for me. King Gray on his struggles beyond the ropes, returning to the ring and why Gervonta Davis is the most realistic super fight for him right now. After more than a year out of the ring, Ryan Garcia returns on April 9 when he boxed as Emmanuel Tagoye at the El Domadome in San Antonio. Garcia needed a timeout. I was struggling with anxiety and depression, he explained. I don't know if it was the pressure of being a boxer influencer, but all I know is I noticed the problem and I fixed it. I made sure that I was okay. I made the right decision for sure and I can't wait to be back in that ring April 9. It was time in my life I needed for things that were happening outside the ring. It had nothing to do with my mindset for the sport of boxing or anything like that. Garcia continued. I felt it was the right time to get myself together to make sure I didn't end up paying the price later on if I had kept on forcing myself to just get in the ring. I get in the ring if I didn't feel mentally there outside of the ring. I took that time off and I feel amazing now. I feel like it really helped me stop a train wreck. I think that was important. If you are not there mentally, bad things can happen in that ring. It started with counseling. I went to go see a therapist. I took the professional approach to it, making sure I got real professional help. From there, I just started understanding what anxiety really is. And depression and making sure that I could talk to people. And talking to people really helped me understand what I was going through and know that there is a way out. Hope does a lot for you. As I was able to gather more hope into myself and to see the light at the end of the tunnel, I just slowly but thoroughly got myself out of the problem I was in. It was a team effort to help me get right back on track. In his last fight, Garcia rose from a knockout to stop former Olympic gold medalist Luke Campbell inside seven rounds. A performance that provided Garcia was more than just a boxer influencer. It showed he belonged at the top of the lightweight division. If you compare Luke Campbell's outings with Vasily Lomachenko, Linares, Luke Campbell gave them hell. I think he beat Linares, and I would say that he was giving Lomachenko all sorts of problems in that fight, Garcia said. With me, if I didn't get dropped, I had the perfect fight and I knocked him out. I showed a lot. I took a great shot. Luke Campbell's a harder puncher than people think. He has some sting on his punches. So he called me with the best shot possible. But I showed the heart of a champion and I got him out of there. And I knocked him out. I did what nobody was able to do so. I think I showed a lot. But everybody has their opinions on it. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.